Hi guys, it's Nicola Bird here. Not as you normally would see me, it is true, but um, my son got these for Christmas. And if you don't know what this is, this is a PlayStation virtual reality goggle face thing. I don't know its proper name, but it's the coolest thing you ever saw, right? So you put this thing on your head and you are in a world of virtual reality that looks so true, it's mental. And the, the first thing that I watched in this was this thing called Shark Attack, right? And you, um, I'm gonna put a clip of it on my blog so that you can, and on my Facebook page, so you can actually see what it's like to be inside of here. But you, you put this thing on and all of a sudden you're transported to this world under the sea. And over here, there are the most beautiful jellyfish coming towards you. And over here, you can see the controller that's sort of in your hands. And over here, you can see sharks sometimes. And you can, but you can look up, right? And you can see the whole of the, you can see the surface above you. You can look down and you see blackness and you turn around as you can look, you have a 360 thing, right? Like, so behind you, you can see things swimming around behind you when you turn your head and look, right? When I'm here, those things don't exist behind me, but as soon as I turn around, they all start appearing in front of my very eyes. And, oh God, it's a bit hot and sweaty in there, but, this is a good look. I'm liking this look. Here's the thing, right? In that world, every single bit of it looks true, right? So it looks like, I tell you, when that shark attacks you, you scream like a lunatic, right? This thing, you watch it on the Facebook page, but this thing is coming at you, right? You recoil, you, your heart speeds up, you scream, right? If you're like any me or anyone else in my family. And... This thing looks for all intents and purposes. There's no illusion. This thing is as real as anything you've ever seen and experienced before in your life. Now, there's a reason why though, why when me and my family are playing on this thing, that we're screaming, but we're laughing at the same time when the shark attacks. And that's because you know, it's it's so compelling. Like I I I'd ha I had to hold <laughs> I had to hold my son's hand while I was in the world, right? Because it was really scary. Even though I know it's an illusion, even though I know it's made up, and but when the shark attacks, you're laughing and screaming and laughing and screaming and laughing and screaming. Right? It's terrifying, but there's a tiny part of you that knows this isn't real. Now, with all my teaching, what I point my clients to is we walk around in this virtual reality world in front of our eyes, created through, not through the powers of PlayStation, but created through the power of thought. And I walk around and it looks just, this coffee cup looks just as real to me as the jellyfish in the virtual reality. Yet I believe one of them to be real and solid and true and the other one not to be. And what I point all my clients to, what we're looking at is, the world in front of us is created through thought. It's an illusion. And why that's really cool to know is because otherwise we're constantly scaring ourselves with th things that we think are real and true and solid and have substance in the world outside of ourselves. And thinking we need to arrange and control and manage and do something with them. And if we manage and do something with it, then, then scary things won't happen. And that's the same as us being in the virtual reality world and trying to manipulate the jellyfish so that they swim closer to us or, or trying to make the shark not attack or, or whatever, right? Like we're not in charge of the game in the virtual reality world, right? There's a, there's a game designer that's created all of that experience for our pleasure for our terror, for our pleasure, for our enjoyment, for the laughs, for the absolute awesomeness of the experience, right? We can have the illusion that we are running away from the shark, 
but we're not running away from the shark, right? We, we can have the illusion that if we, if we turn this way, the shark won't attack, but the, the game designer's in charge. And there's so many, this metaphor is like, this, this example is so useful. It's got so many reference points. But what I want to share with you today is just that our reality is not as real as it seems. It's really simple. And like, if you can start getting a little bit suspicious about what do you mean my world is created through thought? What do you mean that, but for thinking there's no coffee cup here? Right? What, what do you mean there's, there's something else designing the game that we're, we're walking around in? So that when I turn around, there's something over here that, that exists. And when I turn over here, there's something else that I see. What if this game was no more real than this game? Was no more real than the the totally different game we play at night in our dreams, right? Where all the laws of space and time bend. It's like, what if? Just to get a little bit suspicious of the reality of our reality and start to question and look into that. And go watch the video on my uh, Facebook page because um, you'll see just how real this experience is if your kids didn't get one of these for Christmas too. All right, I'll be back with you again next week, hopefully more suitably attired.